so in this session we will learn about l3 out and how we can configure l3 out with the help of the python script so i'll tell you what is l3 out l3 out is an aci manage object used to connect aci fabric to external l3 network every vrf in aci fabric that is to be connected to l3 external domain require one or more l3 outs that supports static ospf and bgp routing protocols so in this session we will learn about l3 out and how we can configure the l3 out with the help of the python script so let me open this script so i have opened the script to configure l3 out so the first part it's same importing the main component of aci from the aci toolkit library now next part is also same to access apic with the help of the url login and password now here the first thing is to create the tenant so here i'm giving the name aci auto to the tenant and then i'm creating a vrf so here i'm giving name vrf underscore aci auto and now i'll need to create l3 out name so i'll give l3 out dash one name to my l3 out now i'll need to map my l3 out with the vrf context now the next thing is configuring the interface i'm taking ethernet port 1 slash 46 on node 101 also i'm defining here the speed of this interface so i'm configuring 1 gig port speed next thing is assigning the vlan to this l2 interface so here i'm assigning vlan 1 to ethernet 1 slash 46 now the next thing is to configure this interface as a l3 interface and here i'm configuring a external svi and also i'm setting its mtu so i'm taking mtu size is 1500 also i'll need to give ip to the interface so i'm giving this ip address 1.1.1.2 slash 30 now i am assigning this l3 interface to the vrf context configuring the l2 parameters to this interface next thing is to give the name to the osp of router so i am using rtr dash one and i am giving router id that is 23.23.23.23 i am assigning the node id so here i am using 101 node to this osp of router that is the leaf node i am giving this name my osp of dash po1 now to this interface policy i am setting up the network type that is point to point network now i'll need to configure few things on the osp of interface so i am giving the area id that is one on this osp of interface i'm selecting area type as a nssa also i'm configuring the password here so my authentication key will be password and my osp of interface policy name it will be if po1.name now I'll, i'm setting authentication key that is i'm using one here and authentication type is simple authentication 
Now I'll need to attach this OSP of interface to the tenant. Along with this, I'm using the OSP of network that is 5.5.5.0 slash 24 and I'm attaching this OSP of interface to the L3 interface. Now my next part would be to create a contract. So here I'm creating contract one. Along with this, I'm creating one outside EPG and here I'm applying the provided contract. This will become the provider EPG. I'm also creating a contract two and I'm applying this to EPG and that will become the consumer EPG. And lastly, I'll attach the outside L3 with the OSP of interface. Now the last thing is to push the configuration to the APIC. Now let me run this script. So I'll put the file name. So this is my Python file. I'll put my username, URL and the password. Now my changes got pushed to the APIC. So I got the JSON. Now let me open the APIC. Let me refresh the page. I'll go into AC Auto Tenant and we'll see the its dashboard. So you can see in the summary, I'm getting the L3 out and the VRF got created here. Now let me open the networking tab under the networking. I'll open the L3 out. And here you can see the L3 out dash one has been created. Now I'll open the logical node profile. So here OSP of dash one is the logical node profile. Now under this, I'm getting the configured node. So I have configured 101 and here you can see my router ID for to this node is 23.23.23.23 and the loopback address is also same. Let me open the logical interfaces profile. So here you can see SVI here I'm able to see 1 slash 46 has been assigned with the IP address. So the IP address to this interface is 1.1.1.2 slash 30. Now I have opened OSP of interface profile and here you can see the name is OSP of if dash one and you can see authentication key ID is one and the authentication type is simple authentication. And along with this associated OSP of interface policy name has been created. Now I will check external EPG. So you can see out EPG is there. If I'll go in out EPG, so it is showing configured VRF name is VRF underscore ACI auto. I'll open the contracts here and I'm able to see consumed contract and the provided contract has been applied to this out EPG. So in this way, you can configure the L3 out with the help of the OSPF protocol.